Hello, this is Andre Bohannon from Captions, and today we're going to be talking about a very important event coming up, and that's the filling out of our 2010 census. I have with me, to help guide me through it, Shannon Tetchy from the city of Peoria. Shannon, thank you for helping me and our viewers understand the purpose of the census and how important it is. When will the census be taken, and how will it be taken? The census forms will be sent out the middle of March. You'll receive it by mail the middle of March, and they're due back the beginning of April. Census day is April 1st, so we're encouraging all residents to return their census questionnaire by April 1st. And what does the census help tell federal government? Um, the census is very important. Um, community organizations use census data when they're writing grants. Um, census data 
um, is used to allocate funding to the community. Much of the funding that the community receives is based in part on the population counts obtained by the census. So it, affect, it probably affects the number of schools we have and all of the services as well as receiving money to benefit our citizens. Right, and as well as where new businesses might locate and schools might be located is based on census um, population counts. Okay, well today we're going to kind of do the exercise. Okay. Uh, this is the form here and mm -hmm. uh, basically what is about 10 questions? It's 10 questions. It should take you about 10 minutes to complete uh -huh. for each person in the house. And it's just basically information that relates to you and where you live or how many people you might have in your family and that type of right. thing. Is that correct? Right. Yep. Okay. Um, so the, the first question is asking um, how many people were living or staying in this home, apartment, or mobile home on April 1st. Okay. So, so you just put down the number? Right. Okay. Next. So and then um, were there any additional persons that you didn't count uh -huh. on question one that were staying here? And if there okay. was, you would indicate whether they were children, relatives, and so okay. on. Okay, number three. Um, and then it asks if it's a house, apartment, or mobile home, if it's renter or owner-occupied. So you indicate whether um, it's an owner-occupied or renter-occupied. Very good. And then they want to know your telephone number if you have one. Right, and the reason that they ask um, the telephone number is so that they can follow up if there's any questions that were not completed um, or they need to clarify any of the responses. That's the only reason they ask for the phone number. So it's important to include that in case they need to follow up with you. All right. Uh, number five. It asks for your, your full name, your last mm -hmm. and your first name. And then um, question six asks your gender. And gender means what? Um, whether you're male or female. Male or female, okay. Mm -hmm. Which sex are you? All mm -hmm. right. Uh, seven. And then it asks your um, age and date of birth. All right. So you include that there. All right. And, and then um, question eight asks um, whether the, the person completing the form is of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. All right. Um, question nine asks for the person's race. And race would be whether you're white or African American yeah, or or that black. type of uh -huh. thing. All right. And the last question? And the last question um, asks if the person uh, sometimes lives or stays somewhere else. And what would that mean? So if they're, um, they use this to kind of clarify, because if somebody is um, maybe doesn't have permanent housing and they're staying with you, mm -hmm. and you might think it's temporary, but they've been at your house for seven months of the year, they should be included on your census form. So they maybe live or stay somewhere else a couple of the months, but they've been at your home the majority of the time. So you should count them on question one for the number of people staying there. But if you didn't, this is used to clarify. And also, I guess, as relates to the person, if I'm reading this right, whoever's filling out the form, they also want to know if sometime during the year you stay other places, like whether you're in college or in the military or even jail or prison or, or that type of thing, right. a nursing and, home. Right, and it's okay. important to note that if you have people in your family that are away at college, mm -hmm. they're counted at college, so you okay. won't include them on your census form. Mm -hmm. If somebody's in a nursing home or in jail, they're counted as part of the group quarters enumeration, so they're counted at that institution, so you wouldn't include them on your form either. Okay. So basically, there's just 10 simple questions, and as we've done it, it's been less than 10 minutes right. in a sense to do. Right. So we are asking people to be sure to fill out the form, and if by chance they don't receive a form in the mail, what happens? Is there some kind of a follow-up? Is there people knocking at doors, or would a person call somebody and let them know they don't have a form, or the, what? The best thing for the person to do if they don't receive a form is to visit a questionnaire assistance center or a Be Counted Center, and those are going to be set up throughout the community. We'll have the list um, available soon of where those locations will be. Mm -hmm. The person can go to that location and they can pick up a form okay. and they still return it by mail just as if they had received it at their home. Okay. But it is very important, just like I emphasize, it's important to make your vote count. It's even just as important to make yourself count so that we know how many people are in each area, in each community, in each state, and in the nation. Right. And uh, based on that, money is received and needs are identified, whether you need more roads, more hospitals, more schools, and right. that type of a thing. Right. And this, the Census Bureau estimates that um, for every person that's not counted, the community stands to lose 300 to to $1,000 e per person each year for the next 10 years. So at minimum, we would stand to lose $300 per person. Okay. Uh, 